Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the sensation of the breathing all the way in, all the way out, and see how long you can stay there. Give the mind a place to settle down, where it can be by itself. You may have noticed every Sunday morning we ask people to turn off their cell phones. And partly, of course, so that your cell phone doesn't disturb other people, but partly because it gives you a certain amount of freedom. You're not on that chain anymore. As long as the phone is on, anybody can call you at any time. They can pull the chain any time they want to. You don't have any time to be by yourself. This is one of the problems of the modern world. We're so connected with one another, we're not connected with ourselves, i.e., we don't really know our own minds. All we know is what's going on out there, out there, out there. If there's a problem, we feel that okay, the problem comes from out there, and the solution has to be out there. But the Buddha said, the, the biggest problem in life is the suffering we cause ourselves. And to see that, you've got to look inside and not be concerned about the out there so much and look more in here, what's going on in here. Because this is a big problem. You, you see it. You see this all the time. You make up your mind to do something and find yourself five minutes later doing something entirely opposite. Or you make up your mind you want to do something that's going to lead to happiness and it causes suffering. So what's the problem? What's going on? There are a lot of interesting ways in which the mind deals with itself. It's got a whole team of people in here, or several teams of people, sometimes working together, sometimes working at cross purposes. And you want to be able to sort this out, and the only way you can do that is to find some quiet time. Sometime to be by yourself and sort things out. Okay, what do you really want in life? And which parts of the mind don't want that? And which side has more reason on its side? Which side is more responsible? Which side is more mature? You can see that only when the mind has begun to settle down. We get glimpses of this as we run around, kind of running through our mind and out the other side. But you want to see things clearly from the beginning to the end. You have to stay here consistently. Consistently, That's why we emphasize staying with the breath, because it is one of the bodily processes that you can control, so you can make it more comfortable, and then it's easier to stay with. The breath itself is an object of interest, because it, it has an impact on the health of the body as a whole. You know your breath really well. Light diseases can disappear, and heavy diseases can become lighter. Your body is healthier as a, as a result, and then you can... When you settle down in a sense of well-being like this, then it's a lot easier to deal reasonably with what's going on in the mind. Because if you're feeling on edge or irritable, then who knows what's going to take over your mind. You just jump for whatever strikes your fancy at that moment, because you don't have the patience or the time or the energy to stick with things consistently. So it's so easy to just grab the wrong ideas and go running with them. So here's a chance to be by yourself and really look at yourself inside, see what's going on. So you can sort things out. So at the very least, the mind isn't its own enemy. You've got a clear idea of where true happiness lies, and you have a clear idea of how to do it, and you can stick with it. That's when you're really in control. To be in control like that, you have to take time out like this so you get to know your mind well, so it doesn't have any hidden agendas or hidden teams that you weren't aware of before. You can sort things out because you get to know things really well inside. So there's plenty to see in here. In fact, it's a lot more interesting than the news outside. And it certainly has a much important, more important impact on the course of your life. So try to find some time every day, every day, to get to know the mind on its own terms. Unplug yourself from the rest of the world and plug yourself into what's going on in the mind. You'll benefit the people around you will benefit as well. <laughs>